KJ Costello, a transfer from Stanford, did something incredible this past weekend. He is now a Mississippi State Bulldog after transferring in 2019. The new Bulldog just threw for an SEC record 623 yards. He upset LSU with a masterful performance. But he has everybody asking after this weekend, who is KJ Costello? In the Who Is series, we go through the backstories of up and coming collegiate and pro athletes. If you like this video, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Kevin Richard, or KJ Costello, was born on June 7, 1997. He was born in Newport Beach, California. He grew up in Rancho Santa Margarita, California. His parents, Kevin and Antoinette, named him after his father. The name KJ stands for Kevin Jr. His father, Kevin Sr., was a triple option quarterback in the late 1970s in high school. KJ was bred from a young age to be a quarterback by his father. Now as a young man, Kevin Sr. and Antoinette noticed the amazing talents in their son. It began not with the football, but with his intelligence. KJ from a young age was a star in school, not just on the field. He made the honor roll year after year. In high school, he was actually a member of the presidential honor roll for his high school. Now, KJ Costello was enrolled in Santa Margarita Catholic High School in California. He played football throughout his years, and that was exactly the same in high school. He began on the bench his freshman year. However, that is not much of a surprise. He did not waste much time, though, as he was named the starting quarterback his sophomore year. Now, during his sophomore year, he was not much of a star. His statistics were not eye-popping whatsoever. He started nine games. He completed 100 of 176 passes and threw for 1,478 yards. It seemed like he had a long way to go. He threw 13 touchdowns and 14 interceptions. As a first-time starter, he definitely struggled a bit. However, he was hard at work to get better. In his junior year, without a doubt, he did improve. He started a couple more games as he led his high school to the playoffs. He started 11 games over the 2014 season. He completed 229 passes out of 380 attempts. He threw for 120 yards more per game and fixed his turnover issue. He threw for 3,123 yards. He also tossed 23 touchdowns versus just 10 interceptions. With throwing 220 more passes than his sophomore season, Costello threw less interceptions. Doing such a great job limiting turnovers, he led his team to the playoffs that season. Most importantly, he raised his passer rating 20 full points. Colleges began to give him small looks, but he was not yet the most promising prospect. He needed that senior season to become a better player for colleges to be scouting him more. In the 2015 season, KJ was looking to improve in every way. Now, his statistics were not as good as they were in 2014. However, he made some great strides. He played in two less games, but threw one less interception. That definitely was something that college scouts loved. Now his completion percentage was very close to the year prior, and his passer rating even went up. He completed 158 passes on 264 attempts for 2,347 yards and 18 touchdowns. He threw only 9 interceptions and colleges were noticing him. KJ Costello was really noticed less for his stats and more for his measurables. According to his scouting report done by 24-7 Sports, he ranked high specifically in his rating for feet, delivery, arm strength, and size. He graded an 8 for all of those categories. The offers were rolling in, and KJ was a hot commodity for these programs. KJ Costello received 16 different offers. The offers came from all over the country. He had three offers in Florida, two in Arizona, one in Oregon, one in Idaho, and many more around the country. He was in demand by the nation's best programs. He had a very tough decision to make. Earlier in the video, we talked about his academics. KJ was on the presidential honor roll for his high school. He is a brilliant young man. One school in California had their eyes on KJ Costello, not just for football, but for his great academic resume as well. That school was Stanford University, home to current NFL star Richard Sherman. Stanford offered one of the best academic programs in the country. Just like Sherman, KJ had an opportunity to play football and get an amazing education from a school that is ranked number six in the country for academics. KJ's decision was a very tough one to make. He received offers from prestigious football programs. Alabama, Boise State, Florida, Miami, and Texas all had their eyes on the California kid. KJ is a very smart young man. He had offers from around the country and was weighing his options very carefully. 
When it came down to the decision, KJ made a very good original choice. He chose a school that can give him the most from football and from academics. As on February 3, 2016, KJ Costello signed his letter of intent to become a Stanford Cardinal, and on June 1, 2016, he made it official. He threw for almost 7,000 yards and 50 touchdowns in three seasons of high school ball. He was a talented kid, but he was very raw. It was important for Costello to be molded correctly and sharpen up his skills. So, for his first season over at Stanford, he redshirted. It was clear he didn't have the starting job and he needed to tune up his skills. When 2017 came around, Costello found himself to be the backup to fellow Stanford quarterback Keller Christ. In a September game against UCLA, Christ went down with an injury. Stanford called on their redshirt freshman and he did not disappoint. While Christ was injured, Costello showed great potential. He impressed the coaching staff and they took notice of his play. When Chris was healed from the injury, Costello headed back to the bench. It was tough for him, but shortly after, he was named the starting quarterback for Stanford prior to the eighth game of the season. He finished the season strong. He accumulated 124 completions for 1,500 yards and 14 touchdowns. He was their future, and it seemed as if the future was very bright. Costello was in line to start for Stanford in 2018. He definitely did not disappoint as he played in all 13 games. He threw for 3,540 yards. He accompanied that with 29 touchdowns. He had thrown 18 more touchdowns and interceptions. He also led Stanford to the 2018 Sun Bowl. He was a second team all Pac-12 selection and the expectations were going to be very high for 2019. 2019 was a bad year for KJ Costello and the Cardinals. First of all, they ended up 4-8 and eight on the season. They were clearly a struggling team. Even worse, KJ Costello struggled. In 2019, he only played in five games. He went 2-3, and three, losing to two ranked opponents. He was injured during the season against Oregon, and it took a while to get back on the field. He came back and went 1-1 one and one in a truly bad season. He finished the season with 61% completion percentage, completing 102 of his 167 passes. He threw six touchdowns, three interceptions, and was sacked eight times. After just a bad season riddled with injuries and bad play, KJ Costello considered moving on. It seemed like a nightmarish year that Costello could not get away from. On December 18, 2019, KJ Costello announced to the world that he had entered the transfer portal. It seemed like it all went bad quite quickly for Costello and Stanford. It just broke down quickly and there was nothing but question marks left for Costello. However, Mike Leach announced that he was moving on from Washington State and had decided to coach at Mississippi State. This left a golden opportunity for KJ Costello to link with an amazing coach for quarterbacks and be very successful. And on February 3rd, 2020, Costello announced that he had transferred to Mississippi State. Mississippi State is not often talked about as a fantastic program, but they have the right coach in place. And with Mike Leach in place, they can be very successful adding a quarterback of KJ Costello's talents. It certainly did not take long. Week one, KJ Costello broke the SEC all-time single game record. Even more importantly than that, they beat the reigning national champions in LSU in a massive upset. The future is brighter than ever with KJ Costello and Mike Leach being the faces of Mississippi State football. There is certainly much more to expect with these two together this year. If you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel and remember to embrace the grind.